Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I just wanted to do a quick um, palette demo, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if anyone even cares about this. It's the Too Faced Teddy Bear Palette. This was actually, this video was actually inspired by the fact that the new Patrick Ta palette just came out and it looks amazing and I really want to get it. But then I was like, wait, let me like reel it in here because I have so many palettes that are still in my new makeup drawer, which means I haven't used them at all yet. And this was one of them and I actually forgot that I bought this. That's how bad I am. So <laughs> it was still in the box. I actually even forgot to mention this when I did that, um, like try on Sephora haul because I actually bought this on the last day of the VIB sale because it really just looked really cute and like I'll show you right now actually the color story is just very wearable and things that I like and it's really cute if you can see there's um like a little teddy bear here and it has these like special shades that have been done by other brands now, but still. It just looks really cute. I mean, it's nothing unique, especially for Too Faced, like another like warm rosy tone palette from them. It's not very exciting, I guess, but it just really got me with the packaging and the theme and everything. And supposedly it's supposed to smell like graham crackers. I don't get that at all. It just, to me, smells like powder. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. But I still want to give this palette its own little video because I actually don't know why I'm filming this. I just felt like it, I guess. And I wanted to compare this with some other palettes in my collection because it really reminds me, now that I'm thinking of it, of the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette and my Maybelline, what's it called? New York Nudes, something like that. And it's the same kind of like, you know, nude theme. Because it says on the back of this, cuddle up with these warm, luxurious colors and slip into the sexiest version of yourself with shadows inspired by cuddles from your softest teddy bear. These sensual shades were formulated to feel smooth and buttery against your skin while they deliver high impact, seductive color for looks that range from barely there to positively sexy. So yeah, it's the same kind of like nude theme where you can use it as like a very natural look or there's like some shades that you can use to deepen it up like these mattes here so yeah i just wanted to see what kind of look i would get out of this i already did everything else like all my other makeup except my lips obviously and i use projects i use products from my project pan just so i could get more use out of those as well and i feel like my color is very off because i mixed my flower beauty heat wave in with my foundation to see what it would do and it really like gave me this like warm pink undertone I feel I don't know hopefully it comes together but anyway if you're wondering what's on my face um yeah so I guess I'll just get started because I'm rambling I thought it was recording but Apparently I wasn't. So I just put my Urban Decay Primer Potion on and then I went in with this pale cream shade and I was saying that um, I like that there's that shade in this palette because that means it's a full palette for me. I don't have to dip into anything else. So that's a good start so far. Um, I did already apply it on this eye and you can see like it's a pretty light shade because it really like covered up um like my veins and everything so that would also be a good shade to use for like inner corner matte 
highlighting or like brow bone as well so yeah I like that so far so I do think I want to go for the more rosier tones in this palette because I want to use my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk um, lipstick for this look so I think that would go good so yeah there's a lot I mean this whole palette is like transition shades for most people but I think I want to go right in with this shade that has the little teddy bear stamped into it there's a lot of kick up in these pans I've noticed so far like the shades are quite powdery but that doesn't bug me at all like I just blow it away if it gets to be too much. So I'm kind of just going everywhere with this. Sometimes when shadows are that powdery, it means they're like gonna be super pigmented. So sometimes it like warns me not to go in with too much, but these ones I feel like are more buildable. Yeah. So it builds nicely and it is blending out really easily as well. Yeah, I feel like this palette, people were really excited about this collection, but then it came out and no one talked about it anymore. <laughs> so I think most people, I mean, it's just very similar to other palettes from Too Faced. I think that's the issue really. Um, and I feel like Too Faced is not as like popular as it used to be. Yeah, but I still am pretty intrigued anytime they launch something because I really like the themes that they do and I love scented makeup. I mean, if it's not too like crazy scented. But I really like my chocolate bar palette, my peach palette. I like a lot of my Too Faced lip products too, so yeah. So I'm usually pretty excited to try whatever new that they they launch. I really like this color so far too. Yeah, that blended really easily. Like it said, it, they're supposed to be like buttery mattes, so yes, I like that shade. And just to deepen up the crease a little, I'm going to go in with the shade next to it, this one here. So the shade names are actually on the back. This shade is called Stuffed, and this one was Sharing is Caring, which is cute. I just wish it smelled like something. It's supposed to, but it, it definitely does not. So I'm just using this shade on the like middle to outer corner like usual. I feel like I do most of my looks exactly the same way so <laughs> that's why I really wanted to try um, Jamie Genevieve's tutorial. You would have seen that video already because I'm about to upload it before this one. Um, that was really fun, but this is how I normally do my eyeshadow, like on a, not a regular basis, because I don't wear eyeshadow regularly, but anytime I do, like, a basic look, um, this is what I do. Yeah, I think this is going in the right direction. I didn't want to do, like, a super brown look, because... I mean, I could do that with a lot of my palettes, so. So I think for the lid, first I'm going to go in with a matte, just so I can use more shades. And I'm going to go in with this pink shade here, which is Lace Teddy. No, 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 that's wrong. Em embarrassed. Embarrassed? I'm confused. Yeah, it's like embarrassed, but embarrassed, like B-A-R-E, like bear. That is a weird name <laughs> for an eyeshadow. Um, so I'm going to go in with that with like a denser brush. 
My brushes need to be washed very badly. So this shade I'm gonna like pack onto my lid. Oh, okay. That's way lighter than I thought it was gonna be considering how it looks in the pan. Yeah, maybe this brush is not what I wanted. It's a bit too stiff. It'd be better for like details. And I think this brush had glitter on it because <laughs> there's definitely glitter on my lid, but there's no glitter in this shade, so that's strange. Or is it my highlighter that I put on already? Okay, I don't like this brush. There's this one, but it's very fluffy. Let's see. Okay, I mean, it's pigmented. I just was expecting it to be brighter. Like, look at the... it in the pen and on my eye. It's more like mauve on my eye. So I'm kind of blending this into the crease as well with those other shades. I like how it looks. Anyway, I'm gonna put a shimmer on top. So there's these two shades here that look very weird in the pan. Like, almost like they're wet. So I'm gonna swatch them. Feels really weird. Yeah, they feel like cream shadow. So that well, they're really pretty though. Let's see a swatch. But I feel like they would get hard pan really fast. Oh, they're really nice though. Okay, so there's those. But then there's those like marbly shades like I was saying are like the ones in the Huda Beauty palette. So there's two of those. Um, this one here and this one. <gasps> oh. Yeah, that is very similar to the shade in the Huda Beauty palette. This one here. This. Those are really nice though. Okay, I'm excited. Also, one thing about this is like, this is a very small palette from what I was expecting, especially for the price which is why I bought it when it was on sale because I was like, I'm not going to buy that full price. Like, it's very small. I'll show you comparisons um, at the end. But that is stunning. Okay, so I think for today, what I want to do... I did like... I thought I was going to go in with that shade, but when I swatched it, it was very cranberry like a bit deeper than I was expecting. So I'm gonna go in with this one, that like creamy wet one. And I'm gonna use my finger. <gasps> oh my God, I love it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it with my finger for now and then blend after. Yeah, at first I thought maybe these were gonna be like toppers, but they have an opaque base. Usually a topper is like has a sheer base, so when you put it on your lid, it's mostly just like shimmer, but this like you can feel has a base to it, and you can see on the eye that it like covered the shadow underneath. It's really pretty. So I'm not gonna go in with more product, but I'm just gonna like soften the edges, I guess. And I might go in with more of the crease shade. The kind that kind of got lost. So I'm just going back in with the shade here. Just on the outer corner. And I think I'm gonna go in again with the first shade, just a little, to add a bit more color, because it's kind of getting lost in my hood 
the hood of my eye. Is this the brush that I used? No. Hope you can see. Maybe I should use the palette as a mirror instead. These are so nice. Okay, I'm actually pretty impressed. <gasps> yes. And just to brighten the brow bone, I'm gonna go back in with the first shade I used. Okay, I love this. I love it. Could I have gotten a very similar look with the Huda Beauty palette? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Mm. But I want to say these mattes might be more easy to blend than the Huda ones. But I can't say for sure because I haven't used that palette in a long time. But I just feel that may be the case. Yeah, I think for my inner corner, this is, there's nothing really that light as a shimmer in this palette. Like the lightest shade is this one, but it's one of those marbly ones. So when you swirl it together, it's actually quite deeper than it looks in the pan. Yeah, that's way too deep for an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna go back in with the highlighter that I use. I was actually using this palette today for the first time, my Aether Beauty Crystal Charged Cheek Palette. And a highlighter in, in here goes very well with this look because it has a pink base. It's what I'm wearing and I'm obsessed. This formula is not the same as their single highlighters though, which are more like um, creamy kind of. This is more powdery, but I love how it looks. And I think you can use it as a topper for your blush as well if you don't like pink toned. Um, highlighters. Um, you can use it as a topper with the other shades in here. But anyway, I don't even think you can get this anymore. And I was mentioning in the video when I hauled this that I was worried they were discontinuing their products because they were all in the sales section for a really long time. But what I noticed the other day is I think it's because they changed their name. They, for some reason, removed like the vowels, except for the A. I don't remember exactly, but there's like, it's just like A-T-H-R now. So I guess it's still pronounced Aether, but they removed the E's. So I, from what I assume, that's why everything was on sale, because they're redoing their branding kind of thing. I hope so, because I really like this brand. So I hope they're keeping like the same kind of products. I did see they launched a new product which is a liquid highlighter which looks kind of exciting but I don't need any more liquid highlighters. Anyway, so I'm going to use this for my inner corner highlight. My little highlighting brush that I always use. Because this is powdery though, I don't know if it's going to stick. Like I will, oh, there's no mirror in this palette. I hope you can see. Oh yeah, that's amazing. This is the blush that I'm wearing too, um, which is more like a natural blush than what I've been using lately, but I still like it. I use the middle shade. But again, I had that bronzing essence on, which made my whole face like really pink, strangely enough. Um, but yeah, that's really pretty. Just a touch on my brow bone. I think for the bottom lash line, just for the sake of using more shades in the palette, I think I'm gonna do something different on the bottom. Instead of going in with the like rosy tones, I'm going to use this shade here, which I love shades like this. It's kind of like a poopy brown <laughs> color. 
that's okay i didn't just make that up that's what people call it so sorry but that shade is called teddy bear um but if you can see it's like yeah it's a shade that your eye gets drawn to in this palette i feel if that was just like a mid-tone brown it'd be a bit boring but because it has that kind of like mustardy undertone it's more interesting at least to me i hope this doesn't like totally clash but No, oh, that is nice. Yeah, I like how that looks. I didn't bring it in all the way to the inner corner because I want that to stay highlighted. But I like that. So overall, I really like how this turned out. It was so easy to blend all the shades together. Um, I really love that creamy shade that I put on. But now that it's on my eye, like it doesn't look doesn't look creamy it looks like a powder so i don't know They're, they don't say anything about the different formulas on the packaging maybe on the sephora app there's more information but i didn't look so really like this um so i'm gonna do my brows and everything else off camera because that's boring and you've already seen it a million times and i'll be back Okay, I'm back, so um, I just have to do my lips now. Oh, and I did add some Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Torch because I felt like that would bring together like the bottom color with everything. And I like that. And what else did I do? I used my Anastasia Brow Freeze again. I really like what it does even though I have like no brow hairs <laughs> but it makes them look a lot more fluffy and I really like that and then I just put some of my essence make me brow on top and my mascara is my Maybelline sky high yeah so I think you're all caught up uh, I'm just gonna do my lip combo and then I'll show you some comparisons that I thought about. Um, first of all, I was looking for a lip liner to go with my Pillow Talk because I don't have the Pillow Talk lip liner. I don't think. <laughs> I hope I don't. Um, so I was looking through my eye line. My I was looking through my lip liners and I came across these two which I thought would be good and thing is one of these is my new Pat McGrath Labs um, Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in Contour and the other one is a NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige and these are like the same color and I'm kind of mad because I wanted this Pat McGrath one forever and I finally bought it on the VIB sale turns out I already had pretty much the same color <laughs> Although it is a lot creamier than the NYX one. So this is the NYX one, which I guess is a bit more cool tone and that's the Pat McGrath. But on the lips, like, is that really gonna make a big difference? I don't know. But I decided I wanna use the Pat McGrath one anyway. I just thought I would share that dupe that I found. Um, yeah, so let me just line my lips, hopefully. Can see what I'm doing. And like I mentioned last time I talked about this lip liner, I was hoping it'd be a bit deeper. I feel like it's quite light for what I, well, it's mainly me that just had an expectation that it was going to be deeper for some reason. But 
that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go in with my pillow talk. I'm using this because, well, first of all, I thought it would go really well with this eyeshadow palette, but this is in my Shop My Stash and I haven't used it once yet, so yeah. Well, I've used it like in my lifetime, but I haven't used it since I put it in my Shop My Stash. So that's what Pillow Talk looks like on me, which is, I find a bit deeper than it looks like on other people because my lips are so pigmented to begin with, but I still like it. Cause it is like a pinky nude, but more like mauve. So you guys know I don't like um, like super pinks on me. But I also wanted to try this, which was in my new makeup thing. My Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury Rose, Rose Jewel? What? I thought this was Pillow Talk, but in jewel format. I don't know, but I'm gonna put this on. This was the birthday gift that came with the uh, Magic Cream. I really like this. That's really nice. So that's what I was going for. Something to go with the eyes. I think I really like that. Right, so for palettes. Uh, so these are the two I was referring to. The first one is this Maybelline Nude New York. I, I thought of this one because this I find looks very similar to the other Too Faced palette. Natural, no. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like the new one before this one where it has like very similar shades to this. So I just wanted to compare these two next to each other. How will I show this to you? Just like this. Yeah, so again, this is more pink though, but kind of some similar shades if you have this palette already, but not the same formula, although this is a very good formula, especially for drugstore eyeshadows. I really like that palette. And then this is the Huda Beauty New Nudes. New New nude. I keep calling it new nudes. There. Okay, yeah. See? Very similar. So, if you already had this palette and... I don't know. You don't use it that much. Why well, get two palettes with the same color story? But if you... But that being said, if you really like that color story... I don't know. But those are the marble shades, like this one here, this one, they're kind of the same. But like I said, maybe this one was even more blendable. And I still feel like this is more leaning pink, and this is more like mauve purple. So, yeah, and this one is more expensive, even though this is pretty expensive for the size. Huda Beauty is very pricey and there is glitters in this one so if you hate glitter um, you'll probably like this one better. So that's that. Anyway I think this palette, I should have checked if this even is still available. Let me have to do that now. Yes. So this palette is still available but it is limited edition. So, and it's $59 full price. So, really glad I got a discount on that. And it also came out with this um, Teddy Bear It All, Teddy Bear It All bronzer um, in the shade Honey Bun Glow. But I didn't get it because it looked very gold 
Um, yeah, see? That is pretty much like a highlighter, but they're calling it a bronzer. But the packaging, so cute. Anyway, oh, and I also wanted to compare this to some other Too Faced palettes that I have. So, yeah, it's very not the same as the chocolate bar. The chocolate bar is very neutral. More browns, obviously, because it's called Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, but that's my in my project pan, which I don't think I'm ever going to pan anything in this. So I might change that project to like a use project. Like I have to reach a certain number of uses before I roll out roll it out and move something else in. Um, I also have the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Just because I was curious, but obviously this is an all matte palette, so it's not the same. But some very, some shades are very similar, as you can see. See, this is what I love the smell of. So I was hoping that one had a fun scent too, but it doesn't really smell like anything. And then this is actually one of my favorite palettes in my collection, the Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms. This one smells good too. But this one has that green shade and yeah, the rest pretty similar as you can see. But I'm still glad that I picked this up now that I've tried it. I was having like some buyer's remorse. <laughs> it was like, I bought that and put it in a drawer and literally forgot that I owned it. That can't be a good sign. But I'm really happy with how the look turned out. Um, and it was like, as it says on the back, smooth and buttery against your skin with high impact color, I believe that is the case. It felt very um, soft on like the eye and sometimes when eyeshadows feel very soft like that they just blend away but this really didn't. I think it's really good quality. So, yeah. That's my door slamming because of the wind but I guess that's it for today. I forgot to put earrings on as usual. And I don't think I'm gonna do my hair because it's like extremely humid and there's actually like a heat wave warning and they're saying the temperatures can go up to like 40 degrees so I'm a little scared but anyway I hope you like this video anyway or found it useful if you also bought this palette and forgot about it maybe take it back out and play with it because I think um, you'll like it so yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!